Spartans! What is your profession? Yo, what's up guys? I hope you guys like the video. Just drinking my fucking tea because I'm trying to stay off of like intense caffeine use. I'm trying to taper down my caffeine use to about like 50 milligrams a day, 50 to 80 milligrams a day. So I'll drink like a cup of tea, which would be about 30 to 40 milligrams. And then I'll have the other like 40, 50 milligrams of caffeine in my pre-workout before I go work out, which is normally gonna be like a third of a scoop of oxy shred that I'll mix with non oxy shred and some other shit from EHP. Oh, uh, and the PSI, because I want to have that nitric oxide pump. And sometimes I'll add a little bit of beta alanine in there too, just to get myself pumped up for the workout, especially since I'm not using so many stims. Yeah, dude, the tea makes me feel great, and gut health is probably one of my biggest priorities, so that's why I do it. But yeah, this was a savage workout for me. It was super, super high volume. So. Depending on y'all's level of um, experience in working out, how many years you've done, um, I might not recommend doing the entire volume for the whole day, especially if you're hitting chest and tries um, more than once per week. If you're someone who's super experienced um, and you kind of have a feel for how much volume it takes for you to stimulate your muscles and make good hypertrophic gains, then I mean, the, the amount of volume that I've like suggested in the video is probably going to be enough for you. Some people will respond to just like a little bit more volume. You know, there's, I've had a lot of clients who have done powerlifting programs and then when they do a program of mine, they only need to do like 75% of the volume that I've suggested and obviously I've re recommended that they start at like maybe 75% and they make massive gains. Whereas someone else who's been lifting for years, has been focusing on hypertrophy for a long time, will find that they require a significant amount of volume, a lot more than the other person, in order for them to make quality gains. So I would just advise that you guys kind of listen to your body, feel how much volume you feel like your body needs before just doing the entire workout at all the volume that I suggested. And then if you guys were wondering what the product was that I use in the workout, it is Beyond EAAs by EHP Labs. Absolutely dang, and I love the taste, which is probably one of the biggest reasons why I drink it. But it also does help um, prevent muscle breakdown while you're working out because it is EAAs, essential amino acids, which have more credible research in literature than BCAAs. Seems like BCAAs really don't have that much credible like research in literature at all. But it also has a nootropic in it to enhance your mood and your focus during a workout, which is absolutely fire. Because I honestly use this even when I'm not working out sometimes because it just helps kind of enhance my focus while I'm doing work. And 
I kind of want to be on point throughout the whole day, even though that is kind of difficult. Sometimes I have to meditate or I have to take a nap in order for me to be on my shit. But this thing helps a lot in that regard. If you guys have anything that you want to suggest or anything that you guys want to see, please let me know. I'll fucking get it to it as soon as I can. Please let me know as well in the comments below. So for example, nutrition videos, macronutrients, um, cutting and bulking, like what I do on a daily basis, what my meals look like throughout the day. I have been shooting out my YouTube videos once a week and I'm super proud of myself for doing that because man, like being your own editor, that shit takes forever, dude. Literally takes me the whole week just to edit each video. The clothes that I wore in the video are all from Young LA. Fucking sick. My favorite company I've ever worked for. Um, you can use my code Nile for an extra 15% off. You guys can literally just jump on the website put in my code at checkout and you'll get that 15% off. Um, Young LA does sell out super quickly at each launch and they have like two new launches or two new drops every single month, completely new clothes. Plus they also restock on several items like a couple times or three times per month. So I would look out for that by following their page or by following my page and looking at my stories. <sighs> Life has been fucking crazy, man. Um, so many changes have been happening in the past month. And I am honestly just so blessed to, like, have a part of all of it. Be able to fucking grind in the gym and do my absolute fucking passion instead of having to be an engineer working from 9 to 5. It's an absolute dream, dude. Like, I, when I was an engineer, I would just be waiting and looking at the clock, just waiting for the time to go by for me to go to the gym and work out. I literally only looked forward to going to the gym every day, and I would listen to... Don't tell my bosses, but every time I was at my office desk, I was sitting down, doing work, listening to gym podcasts, hoping that the day would be over so I could go fucking lift. So this has been an absolute dream, and it's really all thanks to you guys. Again, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe. And if you don't already, follow me on Instagram, that's Nile Naga, and on TikTok, that's Nile underscore Naga. Thanks, guys. Peace.